Hi, so I hope you're all doing great and uh, here is the explanation for the effect called uh, Quick Change Artist by uh, Brother John Hammond. It's a really incredible effect. It's got like uh, five or six uh, magical moments within just uh, one routine and uh, it's also the sort of trick that you can do any, any time, any place to any kind of audience and it will still play really great. And it's also fairly easy to do as well. So I think uh, you'll have uh, a lot of fun with this one. So uh, let's just uh, get into the explanation. Now actually before we get into the explanation, it's important that uh, you watch the performance so that you have a better understanding. And also uh, just as uh, important as the method, it's also important that you work on the presentation as well. Now I don't mean to say that you have to use my presentation. In fact, uh, it's better if you can come up with uh, your own presentation. But it's important that you have uh, some sort of presentation because uh, the effect offers uh, so much scope and uh, it will be a shame if you don't uh, work, uh, put in the little extra work on the presentation, okay? So uh, having said that, uh, let's just uh, get into it, okay? So as I said, it can be done uh, completely impromptu. Now, as mentioned earlier, the trick actually uh, was created by Brother John Hammond. I did make uh, very, very small uh, uh, adjust and adjustment uh, in the handling but uh, you don't have to bother with that okay so uh, I will teach you the original uh, brother John Hammond handling and uh, if you want uh, you can uh, change it to fit uh, your style okay and if you want to see the handle that, that I use uh, again uh, go back to the presentation okay so a very very small uh, difference okay so anyway uh, so to start off uh, if you are doing the imprompt what you're gonna do is uh, you will uh, take out the jacks but as you take out the jacks you will also under spread curl the aces okay so uh, only three aces uh, need to be curled okay so you do you do that as you uh, upjog the uh, jacks okay so uh, don't worry about uh, the curl being uh, perfect and all because at this moment uh, nobody is actually watching you so there I got the second ace and uh, I usually avoid the uh, the ace of uh, spades okay I I because uh, I prefer the aces with the uh, uh, small pips okay it really doesn't matter but uh, you only need uh, three aces okay so now I already have uh, three aces under the spread and the jacks are actually up chop okay now uh, you will uh, take out the jacks just like this and uh, you have it has to be in uh, the uh, this color order okay with the black sandwiched between the reds okay now if, uh, in this case it ca came out just like that but if uh, it doesn't happen just make the adjustment okay so eventually you'll have them up in in this uh, order okay with the black art sandwiched between the reds now uh, remember we have the three aces curled on top and uh, now what you do is you will uh, simply uh, place this here and you will uh, turn over the deck now they will assume that uh, they have the uh, you have the jacks on top but in fact you have uh, three aces and followed by the four jacks okay so that is the situation uh, that you want to get it now if you are doing this uh, if you don't want to do this uh, imprompt and uh, if you don't want to do the underspread curl then you have to get into this uh, setup okay with the jacks followed by the uh, four aces now you will uh, hold out you will spread off uh, four cards and you will as you talk you will get a break under uh, three cards okay so I use the uh, pinky card but uh, you can also use uh, any other method you want now as you come over you simply uh, flip all cards over okay all of the seven cards over and that will show a jack okay now uh, you are still uh, holding a break okay and you will uh, show the first jack you will show the uh, second jack third jack and on the fourth time you will do a block push off okay and you will take everything uh, under it okay so now you just show the four jacks again and now you will again flip it over and spread four cards and uh, you will take them and you can show this now again uh, the jack of hearts has changed it to jack of diamonds but because uh, they are the same color nobody actually uh, notices the uh, discrepancy okay now at this moment the uh, you will uh, set the jacks down here uh, actually apparently the jacks but really three aces and uh, one jack now you do uh, a slip cut okay you simply uh, slip just like that okay and a speed uh, should look like that so now you have uh, 
a jack on uh, top of each of these packets. But to the audience it looks like you simply cut the deck into three piles. Now you will uh, leave uh, one flash this bottom jack and uh, take it out and leave it here. And uh, you will ask the spectator to cut somewhere uh, in the middle. Now if you have three spectators you can do, uh, do it with uh, different persons to it. But eventually you will end up with uh, three cards uh, came from the center of these two packets. Okay? Now you will uh, place uh, these three cards. They are really the aces but they think uh, it's a jack. Now you will uh, place it here. Now you do a triple lift from the bottom. Okay? And to do that you simply uh, push the top card slightly upward just like this. And that will open up a gap. And uh, it will allow you to pinch all the cards under the top card as one and uh, flip it over. Okay? In this case uh, it will show uh, a king. Now you uh, turn back the triple over can deal the top card now comes the uh, first uh, magical moment okay you will do a double turnover okay first of all and uh, you will uh, turn over a single and now you will you will actually switch the cards okay to do that uh, you will uh, push with the fingers just like this and uh, you do that at the same moment as the right hand moves upward okay that will actually lever that card uh, uh, face up into your uh, left hand and uh, now you will uh, go to the next packet and do the exact same sequence okay you do the triple from the bottom and uh, now you do the uh, double turnover and uh, single and the switch okay so now that's the second moment okay now the cards are all changed into queens so again you will get a good reaction at this point now you will uh, go to the third one and do the exact same thing okay turn over in this case the ten of diamonds deal and uh, you do that uh, quick change uh, sequence okay so now uh, you are uh, set for uh, a, a triple climax at this moment because uh, now over here there are these are the three selected cards and uh, these are the three aces and uh, the jacks are over here so you will say one of them actually changed into uh, the queen, other changed into king and the other changed into uh, a 10. Now uh, they are going to assume that uh, you actually, uh, you pause a bit here, okay. Now they are going to assume that maybe the jacks are here. But uh, here is the surprise, they, have, they never expect uh, the aces to be actually here. So uh, this will uh, take them by surprise. And uh, now there is also suspense because what happened to the jacks. So maybe they will look here. but there is still one jack and uh, when you turn over to show the other jacks and uh, added to the fact that uh, these packets were cut from different parts of the deck it's really uh, incredible effect so uh, there you go that is the uh, explanation for the effect and uh, I hope you had fun with it and if you have any questions uh, just uh, make sure to ask in the comments so uh, I hope uh, that was all clear and uh, I'll see you next time take care Bye.